Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. And it looks like Intel has made their upcoming Z390 chipset official by posting full product briefing on the official website. The Intel Z390 chipset has been rumored since last year as a successor to the Intel Z370 mainstream chipset, but it looks like both share the identical features with just a few additions and were also delivered in the recently launched 300 series lineup, the H370 and up. The Intel Z390 PCH block diagram has been provided in the product brief, which shows two very interesting things. The Intel Z390 chipset isn't a huge leap over the Z370, but something that we already mentioned in previous articles related to the Z390. Secondly, the chipset has brought the same feature set that was recently launched on the entry-level boards, but not given on the Z370 boards that launched, launched last year. These new features are already available on the mainstream motherboards, excluding the Z370, and include Intel Wireless AC, 802.11ac, and Bluetooth 5.0, Intel Wireless AC adapter, up to six USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. On the Z370 motherboards, manufacturers who want to provide these features will have to go with a third-party controller, which raises the cost. The Z390 chipset motherboards will have solutions that will make use of the chipset provided the feature set to save costs while high-end boards can still opt for third-party controllers for delivering even better capabilities. When thinking about this launch, most people would question, is there even a need for such a chip? Well, I know it doesn't make sense, but the time this chip is launching, Intel may consider releasing Coffee Lake refresh processors to entice gamers to level up. There's also an 8-core Coffee Lake chip that will be heading to the main dimension series. The Z390 chipset will also provide motherboard makers to provide a refresh for a product lineup to keep the channel flowing. The chipset will launch close to AMD's own refresh chipset known as the Z490 chip, which offers increased I.O. capabilities over the current X470 motherboards. Now I expect the first products to show up soon at Computex 2018. And we'd love to hear what you have to say about the upcoming launch of the Z390 chipset. Do you find it beneficial? Do you think gamers are going to find this useful? Do you think it's really beneficial for the higher end market of the mainstream line? We'd love to hear what you have to say down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.